It's official. David Granger is to be the next president of Guyana. Today, the Guyana Elections Commission announced the last of the statements of poll from the 2015 elections. Summary of the results. APNU AFC 206,817. The IP 338. The NIP 561. The PPPC 201,457. The TUF 880. And the URP 338. The elections were closer than many thought, a difference of just over 5,000 votes. Chief Executive Officer of the Guyana Elections Commission, Keith Lowenfield, said that the People's Progressive Party had sought a limited recount. This has had an impact on the final declaration. GCOM Chairman Dr. Steve Surajbali said why. The GCOM's commissioners will go into caucus, I wanted to say country, and go into caucus <laughs> uh, to produce the CEO's presentation and the figures before giving him the authority to proceed with the final declaration of the results. This declaration will come tomorrow regardless of the challenges being mounted by the PPP. Mr. Lowenfield was cagey about the impact of the challenges on the final outcome. All things being equal, we are supposed to be saying, singing the same song from the same song sheet. Um, if there is any variance in my humble view, that variance would not be significant. But significant to alter the outcome of the elections? Dr. Serge Bali said no. The PPP had been granted recounts in certain divisions. The outcome of the recounts done in, in the districts you referenced, um, there was no change, to, um, no numerical change and as far as the, the numbers go. There were other anomalies. The PPP complained that there were fake statements of poll amidst the group. The CEO quite laudably brought to the attention of the commission that there were certain anomalies. Some of them, one of them particularly, uh, there were statements of poll or the polling people. Uh, but they were not uh, emanating from GCOM. The original ballot paper had been fashioned by a Canadian company. The statements of poll were also specially designed. But what is the greater issue I would have thought is that there is such evil in our society that would make a person do something like that, knowing the repercussive effects on this nation, what could happen. The, the, the distrust is aroused once again. That, I, I said the word evil because I meant it. It is a terrible, most reprehensible thing to attempt. And of course it goes nowhere, but it goes there we are by those who want to make an issue out of something that was captured and stopped in the, in the, in the immediately. Meanwhile, the parliamentary seat allocation would now be the same that both parties enjoyed in the previous parliament. The coalition would have 33 seats and the PPP 32. Adam Harris, Prime News.